Hi everyone, thank you and welcome to Angel Heart Wisdom. I am Lavinia and I'm here with your weekly reading for January 23rd to 29th, 2017. If you're new to my channel, thank you for being here. I also want to thank you for your loyal support and your best wishes. Continue to like, share and subscribe and show your love for a personal reading with me. Visit my website www.angelheartwisdom444.webly.com Book and purchase your readings. Email your questions to angelheartwisdom444 at gmail.com The new moon energizes Aquarius on the 27th. This lunation brings a feeling of a fresh start to our lives. We are awakened to a need for a vision for socializing, brainstorming, and expressing our feelings of friendship and developing more objectivity in our lives. Aquarius, thank you and welcome to this week's reading. Happy birthday to you all. Um, this week I'm going to be using the Butterfly Oracle by Doreen as well as a variation of my virtual decks. Um, yeah, your vision. I saw some birds. Yeah, so singing a different tune, being a little happier, your soul, intuition. Yeah. Let's see what the cards are saying for you for this week. Parental care. Adult children. Join in, so caregiving function, yeah, nurture up, parental care, this could be you needing care or you providing care for your kids, your loved ones, those under your care, those in your environs in, at this point in time. So really being able to see things clearly while you trust your internal guidance as to the needs uh, if it's your needs, your needs. If it's the needs of others, what they really need and want at this point in time. Adult children, responsible decisions and choices, grounded decisions and choices while communicating for the greater good of all. But taking responsibility, being responsible. Yeah, this will allow you to join in, find new groups, okay? Taking responsibility for yourself um, or your kids who are now growing up and this will lead you into joining in to finding new groups new friends like-minded individuals um, they're saying that you've been out of the limelight for some time because you've been mixing with people who are harsh you know so as you go out there and find like-minded individuals um, you'll be able to socialize a little more um, with those people who share your same views and think like you and to bring in those changes that you have been desiring it's your birthday month you know so it's a new cycle for you uh, as well as new manifestation phase you know um, with the new moon if you have your dreams and wishes in alignment with your true heart's desires, the universe is going to assist you in manifesting with a little or no effort from you at all. I'm going to go on to the Crystal Wind Oracle for the next set of your messages for this week. So we have Ordain. Your current and main energy is call on your higher self. And we have the Phoenix, a bird derived from fire and ashes, ready to fight against adversity, the new era. So... The Norse God surveys the battlefield. Valor brings victory, wisdom, knowledge, know-how, fortitude to survive and to push through, you know, no matter what challenges present themselves. You have a fighting spirit. You confront reality head on, always being willing to change when change comes, when change arrives, to recreate, to re-manifest. This is you, the thinker, yeah? quick thinking so your main energy is pray meditate call on your higher self align with your blueprint align with your reason for being here take responsibility for your role in creation connect with your god self your god spark to access your blueprint you know perhaps this week you may be asking yourself questions like why am i here 
who am I? How could I change this for others? What can I do? Those are questions that you may be asking yourself this week. But prayer, meditation, to align yourself and start the process of recreating your life, your existence, not by default, but deliberate creation. Because you're the phoenix, bird derived from fire and ashes, uh, consumes it flame, itself in flames, reborn from its ashes, rebirth, a new era, a new era in socializing, a new era in finding new people, a new partner, you know, like-minded individuals who share your views, your goals, you know, who think like you. And um, by going out there and understanding that everything is a cycle, a season, you know, you will be a force to be reckoned with, to rise from the ashes or to make a miraculous comeback. You will experience a personal renaissance, a triumphant recovery from a setback, beat heartbreak, illness, or financial struggle. You know what? Rebirth, a new era has unfolded. You're ready for the challenges of this new era. I'm going to go on to the guardian angel who could assist you with this week's manifestation work. Archangel Zadkiel with forgiveness. It's a time to forgive family, friends, loved ones, everyone you thought you thought was hurt you or done you wrong. Forgive. Leave it in the past. Transmute it. Learn the lessons that you had to learn through those experiences and be willing to move on to a new era, new manifestation phase. So uh, blaze the violet fire this week to transmute all the negatives so you could start off fresh. And that doesn't mean accepting negative behavior onto yourself from others. It just means freedom from pain, hurt, anger, negative karma. And to connect with Archangel Zadkiel, you could use a lapis lazuli, but forgiveness. Come on, Archangel Zadkiel. And with regard to choice and free will, the angels will not come in unless you invite them in. So check out my YouTube channel for angel invocations and prayers. Have an amazing week. And remember, like, share, subscribe for a personal reading with me. Check out the links in the description box below. See you soon.